Time to put our timing belt on. We've got our crankshaft, hash marks on the pulley, and this reference mark on the uh, crankshaft sensor lined up. We've got the camshaft sensor mark lined up with the reference mark up here, and we got this right cam lined up with the seam on the cylinder head up there. So everything's lined up. 307 belt, similar to what we had on there that we just removed. And you can see there's three yellow marks. You got one mark here, one mark here, one mark here. These solid lines are for the camshaft. We're gonna put our belt so we can read it. We're gonna put our hash mark right on this mark for the pulley. So it's lined up. We're gonna wrap it around. We're gonna line this belt mark up with this belt mark on the pulley. And now what I like to do is just kind of make that somewhat taut, just so it'll kind of hold its position. So we gotta leave some room on this side because the tensioner pulley is gonna sit right here. But basically, line up this mark right here, which makes it nice and easy. If you don't have the marks and you're reinstalling an old belt, it's not the end of the world, but these marks just kind of help out when installing a new one, it makes it nice. But the idea is the same. And now what we're gonna do is try to slip this belt on right here. Now we might have to turn this pulley a little bit. So we're not gonna get it super easy on the first try, but basically just turn this pulley a little bit in the direction that you need to go because this right here will fix this once we install the the timing pulley so I just need a little bit more length to get it around the pulleys down here so put your belt around the water pump once it's around the water pump go around this cogged idler pulley this belt slipped off this this mark should be up there. So I'm gonna try to finagle this and just put it up there. If I can't get close, I'll turn the pulleys and make it, make it work, but it actually slipped right up there, no problem. So that's good. So now what we need to do is get our tensioner. To get this pulley in as easy as possible, it can be tricky. What we need to do is make this belt right here as, as loose as we possibly can, which means we're gonna need to tighten this up a little bit here and tighten this up a little bit here. So that means we're gonna turn this cam just a little bit counterclockwise and tighten everything up. So now everything's tight. And we've got as much play as we can get right here. There's no pulley here. So this, doing all that together will usually help this tensioner slide in. So now when you put this tensioner in, this is a brand spanking new one from Azen. So it's got a new washer, it's got the new uh, O-ring on it. Most all of them do, no matter where you get them from, but once again, just don't use anything but Azen or Subaru. And now you gotta slide it in here and you gotta line the bolt up and make sure it's square before you spin it in because these are aluminum threads and this is a steel bolt and if you cross thread it it can it can uh, cause you some time because you have to come in here and you'll have to tap that out a little bit clean up the thread so to avoid doing that the key is to get this belt as loose as you can right here which means just kind of making it taut all the way around putting all your loose belt play right here so once you do that this will slide right on and hopefully we can get this bolt in there fairly easy. And something to keep in mind too is this pin for the tensioner has to go underneath that dowel pin. So everything's pretty close. I just kind of set it up in there. Now I'm gonna try to hand start that bolt. Now I can see it started, no problem, the pin Right here, the tensioner pin slid under this dowel pin right here. So everything's lined up and good. So this bolt can now be tightened. Oh, I caught that, that was cool. So now we can tighten that bolt. 
Normally I would tighten that with a wrench, but I can't quite get it because this belt, this engine's swinging around on this way. So I'm just gonna give it one of those, that's tight. So now everything's pretty tight. You know, it's a snug fit. You can see this moves around a little bit, but this belt can get in your way to getting this bolt in straight. So the key is don't put this pulley in until this tensioner is installed. So now all this extra play, we can get all this extra play back and get it down here and that will enable us to put this pulley in. So now we slide this in and if you can see that bolt hole lined up really easily. So we hand start that bolt and we tighten it up. Done. One last thing, pull your pin. And that's just a little kind of a grenade pin. Once that's pulled, this hydraulic tensioner has a spring in here and it's actually gonna push against that dowel pin and it'll keep this belt tight for 100,000 miles. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.